what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here with another reaction of the last kingdom season one episode three is here today and i just got the feedback from the first episode man you guys are epic a f okay listen listen guys if you guys keep supporting this series i will keep dropping those episodes consistently so just keep it going okay i see a lot of you guys are super excited please don't forget to comment on the videos and like the videos as they come out okay if you guys are hyped for this series as much as i am two episodes in i'm pretty sure that you guys can keep supporting these videos get them out let the people know that your boy is reacting to The Last Kingdom, okay? It seems like this is going to be a hype series. I'm excited for it. You already know what's going on, man. We got a man here, Uthrid. You know what I'm saying? Uthrid, or whatever you want to call him, <laughs> right? Uthrid, right? We saw how the beginning is. He's basically can't find a home right now. He wants his kingdom back, and he thinks the only way to get back there is to go to the one place that's kind of still neutral for England, right? And that is Wessex. And there he meet soon to be King Albert. Right now Aethered is the king making great decisions. I like seeing things from this angle. I'm not going to lie. Um we also got him trying to let the Danes know that he didn't kill Ragnar, which was like a father figure to him. So we got that angle is like he can't find acceptance anywhere, but he's trying his best right now. He was basically locked up. Him and Brita was like was locked up. Um, when he gave them that information about the Danes, he's just like, and it was good intel. So let's see what they're going to do when they when they get back after. I'm guessing they're going to win this battle against the Danes so or Vikings. So let's see how they handle this. I'm ready to go. Hope you guys are ready to. As I said, man, I've been recording this stuff late at night recently because I'm right back into the swing of things. I don't know if they're going to shut things down again, but right now, um, as I've told you guys, I've kind of soundproofed the room now so I can do late night reactions if I feel like it. I'm still going to try to not record past 10 o'clock at night, but if so be it because of the circumstances, if I come home and I feel like doing some reactions, even though sometimes I may be coming home at nine o'clock at night, I'm going to be doing reactions and getting them out to you guys. Okay, hope you guys are appreciating these sacrifices that your boy is making over here, man. Um, hopefully, there's a lot of people lately has been saying, how is it that Terabyte Reacts doesn't have more subscribers or more views? Regardless, we're still grinding over here. And I appreciate every one of you guys that has been saying that on the channel, man. I really do. I really do feel like i deserve more but at the same time i'm humbled to have what i have okay i'm appreciative of that and i appreciate all the love that you guys show on this channel man i really do so um so let's move on to the reaction i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was episode three, season one, Last Kingdom, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, I like the I like the manliness, you know, the manliness of this show. It's gonna tack is you know right now it's tackling a, a lot of the issues that I've seen, you know, from time to time of situations in real life that I think has kind of gotten pushed to the to the background of life. You know what I'm saying? A man's word is his bond. You know, um and I get why Breather wants to get him away from all of that stuff. I really do get her. But at the same time, I'm here to follow Uthred's story, not Breather's story. So yes, she's an essential piece, but I'm kind of glad that she's out of the picture right now. To be honest, so we can concentrate on, 
you know what I'm saying, the Uthred character. You know what I'm saying? Without that distraction. I don't care if he takes a wife, whatever. You know, I don't care about that. I love the relationship he has with Brita, as I've stated before. I love that relationship. But at the same time, everything that he does, you have this person second guessing. You know what I'm saying? That part of it, I didn't like about the relationship that they had. And in some ways, it's not me being misogynist. Mis 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 <laughs> not me being a mis 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 misogynist or whatever they want to call it right it's not me being like that it's just i'm saying a lot of times when men make decisions they should stick by their decisions and see how it plays out and it's not good to have someone who's not in support of that just always around you you get what i'm saying as i said she legitimately doesn't really i think the her behavior is based on her not wanting him to get killed or betrayed and all of this other stuff because she feels like the english is going to betray him and not give him but i don't see alfred as that type of guy at least not yet you get what i'm saying so right now he comes off as a really trusting person yes he's ruthless but the one thing that i can already say about king alfred is that when he says something, he means it. He doesn't mince his words. He says what he means. Mind you, the only thing about his character that I don't like is the infidelity. But at the same time, the other aspects of him, I really, really love about his character. Now, maybe the infidelity is the flaw in the character to not make him be a this perfect character in the show. And maybe the infidelity is the flaw of the character writers do this so that you don't think this person is absolutely perfect i.e vikings with ragnar did a lot of things i.e bjorn did a lot of things i.e lagatha there's a lot of characters that are there are can be seen as perfect but flawed you get what i'm saying so with um this character already you can see these characters um with their perfection and having these flaws you get what i'm saying so i like that about the show so king albert hasn't done anything for me to think that he's conniving or he's doing things behind people's back i don't know if that ever is if that's ever going to happen in the show but right now it's uthrid king alfred and uh, I mean, Boeka to a point. Boeka to a point. My favorite characters. I love Uba's character. Young Ragnar. First time seeing him in a long time. Love his character too. Um, but we don't see enough of him for me to really like, you know, fall in love with his character yet. But I like when he's on screen. You know, ever since we saw him from like the first episode. Um, he, I don't think he was, he wasn't in the second episode, but he was in the first episode from, you know, when we known him because he was around with Ragnar. Right. So, um, so yeah, man, it was pretty intense. I loved it. Um, it was a pretty cool, it was a pretty cool episode. I liked it. Like how they're extending on, you know, King Alfred trying to make peace with the Danes and all of this other stuff. And these are the things that are written in history. I told you guys, um, on the second episode, I think on the review, I told you guys to let me know in the comment section. So don't, if you forgot to do it on that episode, please do it on this one. Let me know how much of a how much of this is real history okay because i know maybe uthred was not a character you know maybe this didn't actually happen but i just want to know how much of it is the real history don't spoil the show for me now please don't spoil the show but let me know how much of all of this from vikings to the last kingdom how much of it is real history if you tell me real history and not spoiling the show f for me, but if you tell me what happens in the damn show, you know, with the Uthred character, of course you're going to be spoiling the show for me. You know what? As a matter of fact, 
I don't even really want to tell you guys to do this because some idiot is probably going to spoil the show for me just because <laughs> you know what I'm saying but do not tell me the entire story if you're going to write a comment please do not write an entire essay about just let me know how much of the show is through off what's going on right now okay now you got your specifics let me know about what's going on right now did um did king alfred if he existed in history which you guys have already let me know from i was watching vikings let me know how much of it did he really try to make peace with the danes was that a part of history like stuff that you know i've seen already whether it be in vikings or the last kingdom i'm only three episodes in so if if it's something that i'm going to learn during the show and you've watched it already do not put it in the comment section please else i'm gonna stop reading the comments okay um we did we've been doing an awesome job on this channel of shows not being spoiled for me so please i'm begging you guys okay so let me know guys from just let me know from what i know so far and what has happened in the throw up to three episodes let me know okay i appreciate y'all i know for the second episode i didn't be specific but i'm still gonna be looking at them if you guys have already written them um you know i think we know over here enough to for for people to understand not to spoil stuff if, if it happens during the show okay because i know majority majority of this is probably fiction anyways you get what i'm saying and with a little bit of history sprinkled in in there but they kind of elaborate on that history to kind of turn it into fiction okay so thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys leave a like Leave a comment, of course, and subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.